Hey guys, my name is Shai and I want to just start by thanking everybody who's watching this video because I don't know, there's something feels special here. A whole weird series of events have actually led me to this moment in time. <laughs> um, I really intended to sit down and record a different video. I wanted to record some videos for my other channel, but I'm essentially really strongly guided to record this video first. And in this video, I want to, or uh, apparently I'm going to, like it or not, right? <laughs> um, do a kind of position statement on Ascension, if you will. Essentially, just what my opinion is on like, what is Ascension? How do I think about it? You know, how do I fit myself into all of the many different viewpoints on the general topic of ascension. And I use that word just because if I say ascension, then everybody kind of knows what I'm talking about, right? Um, and um, sorry for all the ums, I'm really like hyper aware of how I'm talking right now and that's always a little strange. I feel a little off. If you're, if, if I seem a little off, I feel a little, a little off. I've been feeling quite off because I'm recording this a few days before the solar eclipse in Scorpio. This is 2022 and I'm really feeling it in my body, right? I'm Scorpio rising and I'm really feeling this eclipse energy in my body and it has me feeling kind of strange and I was actually feeling quite, you know, emotional and like my body was feeling kind of like very uncomfortable uh, up until the moment I sat down to record this actually. But as soon as I sat down and you know, then the vortex of the video wraps around me and I just felt myself like, <sighs> like lift up, like feel so much better. So that's why I was trying to thank you guys because whatever energy you guys are bringing to the video by watching this whenever you watch this <laughs> um it's really good for me this is this is really good this is a good space for me to be in and i'm i'm really <sighs> it, it's this feeling of having clicked into place all of a sudden like i'm finally back on track so okay that's enough of my preamble. Sometimes I really feel like I need to just ramble for the first little bit of a video to get myself in the headspace where I can finally start the video. So, okay. <laughs> what is my personal view on Ascension? <sighs> Man, this is, this is like, there's the really short answer and then there's like the long convoluted, super multifaceted answer. So the short answer is that well, first of all, this is only my opinion as of this moment, as of October 2022. And my opinion is sure to change because I'm always changing my mind about everything, right? So this is just a snapshot of one of my spectrum of opinions on Ascension. And the short answer, I guess, is that I very much believe, I have been led to believe through all of my experiences that we live in, or at least that I live in, an infinite multiverse, right? Where essentially, if anything can happen, it does and will happen at some point in some point in space-time. Everything happens somewhere, somehow. If it can happen, it will happen, right? Everything, everywhere, all at once. So <laughs> from that perspective, which is the kind of background perspective that I, I have in the back of my mind all the time, that essentially means that I don't really have an opinion on what Ascension is because I know that anything is possible. I know that anything is possible. And I get on the internet and I look at all of the different views and opinions and different things people are saying about what they think Ascension is. And I'm like, yeah, they, they are right. That That is correct. That is probably happening somewhere, somehow, someone, in some fashion, right? In In this infinite multiverse. What if everybody is right? What if literally everything is true? Because everything, right? Because everything. So, do, do, do you see what I'm trying to get at here? <laughs> this is kind of like a much bigger, a bigger picture thing, right? If you were to ask my opinion on anything that happens in the future, I would just say like, that. that's almost like the wrong, like I don't understand that way of looking at it anymore. I used to very much think like that. But now I'm just in this place of everything's just kind of blown out of the water. Anything is possible. This is an infinite multiverse, right? An infinite multiverse. So I no longer really have opinions about what is going to happen or even what is true, like out there, right? I only know what is true from my own experience. So I just always ground myself back into my own experience and just I only deal with, I only think about, I only worry about what is true for me. So I guess I can continue the rest of this video talking about 
what kind of ascension am I on? What, what is it for me, right? What is it for me? And that's the long answer. <laughs> and there's so much that goes into this. So, uh, I just keep thinking about, there's a YouTuber and I think she's also on Instagram. Uh, her, her channel name is a girl in the universe, a girl, girl in the universe. I don't really watch many of her videos, but I do read some of her posts some of the time. And she was just recently talking about um, her view on Ascension and she feels that there's going to be a grand solar flash and that when the grand solar flash happens We're all essentially going to go to sleep and be given a choice to either You know wake up in the new earth or essentially wake up in a copy of this version of earth But without all of the programming and stuff and we just decide how we how we go and we go with our families We go with our animals and, and all of that and it's all this very much benevolent Waking up one morning in a whole new reality right because of a because of a solar flash and the energy is coming through from that. And I really think that's a beautiful, like, I think that would be fantastic. Sometimes I daydream about that, right? I daydream about like, maybe everything will just magically change, <laughs> right? Maybe a solar flash will happen, or maybe the aliens will come, or maybe, you know, the angels will descend, or maybe we'll just all leave our bodies and find ourselves in paradise. Sometimes I think, you know, I think that that would be really cool. I think that is a cool and beautiful frequency to tune into. And Maybe a lot of people are going to experience that, right? Maybe the people who are really tuning in, tuning into that, really creating that reality for themselves, maybe that is what they're they're experiencing. Maybe that is what they're going to experience. But none of that really resonates for me personally, and there's a very specific reason for that. Um, I was essentially this goes back to my childhood, right? So I was raised Christian. Um, you know, my parents are Christian, but really the Christian indoctrination was done by my grandparents, who were amazing grandparents, and I love so much but I did inherit some baggage from them because they raised me to believe that the rapture was going to happen. And man, I, I, I get like emotional, just, I get kind of, I get kind of weird just, just thinking about this, right? But they essentially raised me to believe, and I really believed this, like my little child brain believed this because my grandpa told it to me, right? And my grandpa is one of my favorite beings in all of the multiverse. <laughs> but there's just this one this one thing and I understand that he, that you know even though this thing that he that this interaction we had with each other it, it, it does actually serve me and I will get to how this serves me and I just want to say like I, I love my grandpa so much and he is always with me and and no hard feelings right no hard feelings I get it um, but anyway he told me that the rapture was going to happen in 2009 that was the date that he'd figured out that he that he believed in and he raised raised me to believe that I was never going to be like an adult, right? I mean, I'm, I was born in 88, graduated high school in 06. So I was used to think, what's the point in going to college <laughs> if I'm just going to be raptured, like, you know, before I graduate, right? <laughs> what's, what's the point in, in doing anything? I had, as a kid, I like had this fatalistic worldview where I was just like, oh, nothing matters. I'm just going to poof, right? <laughs> So because of that, and you know, I, I grew up and I had a 10 year period where I was an atheist and now I'm like this. So I've really run the gambit of, you know, going deep into Christianity and then atheism and then how I am now. <laughs> so I've really had this huge spectrum of experience in terms of spiritual, mystical, philosophical, metaphysical ways of thinking. I've like experienced it all. And so here, here in my current moment, I don't really feel like I could ever really go in for any kind of view that gives me a deadline or any kind of view that gives me an event that suddenly everything is just going to magically poof and change. Because for me, that's too much like, <laughs> you know, the, the way I was brought up to believe in the rapture, in the Christian rapture. And I actually feel like, you know, I had that whole experience because it was, it's like it inoculated me against those kinds of ideas. And I'm not saying that those kinds of ideas are bad. Like I was actually saying, um, some people who believe in something like the solar flash. I think that is so beautiful and honestly I hope those people if that's really what they want to experience and that is for their highest good Then I hope they can have that experience. I think that would be beautiful and amazing and what an amazing um, Thing to create for yourself, right? I just Apparently like right now the way I feel right now the way I sit right now I don't I don't expect anything like that for me to happen I am open to the possibility of it happening if I wake up one morning and I'm in like a and I literally wake up in paradise, <laughs> right? Or in the new earth or, or whatever, right? Whatever it is, if I wake up and there's an overnight change like that, 
magically, mystically, spiritually, whatever, I, I'm really open to that. I'm like, hey, like beam me up, right? Like, <laughs> I, I think that's totally cool, but I don't really expect it. And I absolutely have no dates for when that might happen, right? <laughs> I, I, I just, I just don't because I've essentially been down that road and I'm, I just don't feel like I have the ability to think like that anymore because of my childhood experience, right? So how, what do I, so that's basically what I don't think Ascension is for me. I don't feel like I'm on that Ascension pathway. And, you know, people talk about the Ascension pathway. I hear a lot of people that I really admire and respect and really benefit from what they share online. Um, they end up talking about things like the one Ascension pathway or the true Ascension pathway. That doesn't resonate with me either because I, I feel that there are multiple paths possibly infinite paths, right? If there are 7 billion humans on earth, why why is there not 7 billion paths of ascension, right? Everyone is walking on their own unique path because I see every single human as a creator being, right? We're not on anybody else's path. We're on our own path. We are creating for ourselves, right? We, we are each, every single individual has the capacity and the potential to create their entire reality for themselves if that is what they choose. Of course, you can choose to tune into someone else's reality. You can choose to tune into someone else's path. You can follow in someone else's footsteps. And we all do that from time to time, right? We all have mentors, leaders, just people that we inspire or maybe just a peer who's walking a little bit in front of us and we all follow in someone else's footsteps. We all follow in someone else's path for a while while we learn, while we rest, while we take a break. But ultimately, right, in the grand scheme of things, we're all creating our own path. So that's essentially where I'm at. So I don't know what's happening with everybody else and their ascension pathway. I only know what is happening with me and my ascension pathway. And again, I don't actually know what's going to happen. And I'm really, really perfectly okay with that. I have no idea what's going to happen. And I just leave that completely open, right? So this is how I tend to feel that this is going for me. I basically only use the word ascension and like a lot, like a lot of the words I use in this channel I use because they're the ones I see being used out there. And I'm really happy to be very flexible with my language, with the words I use. I'm very pragmatic with the language I use. I am like just linguistically and verbally flexible when I'm talking to different groups of people. I just naturally without thinking adapt to their type of language use. I just, that's just how I am. <laughs> That's just how I am. Really, it's my it's my Gemini moon, right? Gemini moon is like that. And, you know, I can talk about the same kind of topic with different types of people who like wouldn't understand the language I use on this channel. I can talk about the same topic with other people with different different interests, different backgrounds, and I can use different language of talking about the same thing. And to me, it's all the same thing. It's all the same thing. That's why I'm very non-attached to language, right? It's like I can use the word ascension and to me, that's just a tool. It's just like, do you kind of know what I mean when I use that word? Yeah, okay, we're good, right? I don't have any attachment to these words. Um, yeah, but so basically, I don't typically, in my head, I'm not typically thinking ascension all of that much, like that word. I'm typically thinking just the evolution of consciousness, the evolution of consciousness, the expansion of consciousness, and the, the merging of the physical world and the non-physical world, right? The earth realm and the spirit realm. Again, you could use all kinds of words to describe those spheres, whatever, you know what I mean. It's about, for me, it's about merging them together, right? It's not about leaving the body. It's actually about merging <laughs> body and spirit, right? I always have this one of the things I learn over and over and over again is that it's not just about bringing like consciousness and the spirit, the spirit realm, the consciousness of the higher realms, higher consciousness, whatever source, energy, whatever you want to call it. It's not just about bringing that down, which we're obviously doing. It's also about bringing the physical sensory world, about bringing it up. And even again, up and down is only, that. that's only a, that's only because I speak English, right? I, I could just say side by side, right? They're side by side, side by side energies that are interconnecting, the physical and the spiritual interconnecting and melding, creating an experience that is going to be brand new where we are still in our physical body. So I guess I, I can say that I very much believe that for myself, um, Ascension is about staying in my body. It is about upgrading my body, like 
energetically speaking, right, evolving the body. And I feel like every generation of humans, right, we are slowly, slowly like continuing to evolve our DNA, all the type of thing. I feel like this is an evolutionary process. And I, I do believe that in, you know, like biological, physical evolution, but also the evolution of consciousness go hand in hand. For me, everything is about the balance of the two sides, right? The balance of everything going in hand in hand. And so I feel like the evolution of consciousness is about evolving the body so that it can hold more consciousness, more, more advanced, more evolved, like more of our own consciousness, right? And, but also evolving consciousness so that it is like more comfortable and more effective in the physical body. It's like both sides are adapting and meeting in the middle. Both sides are adapting and meeting in the middle. And we're, we're like, and then it's like, for me, it's like walking a new, a new path where I am balanced between both worlds. I actually had an interesting experience a while ago. I was walking down the street and it was like, you know, the, the buildings were the right height and the sun was at the right angle where half of the street was in shadow and half of the street was in sunlight. And it was like perfectly down the street. And so I was like, wow, I can walk in the shade or I can walk in the sunlight. And it's that easy to decide. It's one street shade or sunlight, shade or sunlight, and I can just decide where I want to walk and I could zigzag back and forth or I could pick one path or the other path and whatever. Um, and I was just walking just down the shade on one side, the sunlight on the other side and my free choice to navigate the path, but moving forward in the same direction. And that's the kind of impression I get about the evolution of my own consciousness. Like I'm getting more and more centered, more and more balanced. And as I become more centered and more balanced, I have both sides of the coin, both sides of the street, both, both types of energies flowing out in either direction. And, and it's like, it's all part of me. And I, I feel like I'm move, like moving forward in balance. Isn't really it because it like almost goes beyond balance. It's like you have the two, the two energies, right? Melding them together. It's like alchemy, right? Alchemizing them together. And then moving forward as this new third thing, a new third thing, right? It's like, it's not just shadow and light. It's what do you get when you blend them together and get the third thing? It's not just masculine and feminine. What do you get when you blend them together and get the third thing? But again, it's without losing either half. So you get masculine and feminine in the third thing, all three all together. You get shadow and light, blend them together and you get all three all together, all moving forward. And it's like, I feel myself more and more embodying this, trinary sensation. It's just a sensation that I have in my consciousness and in my body and in, in, in many aspects of my life. I feel like I am becoming one. It's like there's the one half and then there's the other half and then there's the balance and the combination, the blending of the two. And then that makes me three things moving forward. Does, does that kind of make sense? That, that that's how I, that's how I, that's how I sense this, like just throughout my life as, as I, evolve my consciousness that that's increasingly the, the feeling that I get and I see that for me that is my path forward and so in terms of like what might happen in this lifetime for me what might happen on the planet how like is there going to be an ascension event how is this going to go <laughs> you know I mean I'm very excited to see what happens like I said before, I don't, I have no specific opinion about what might happen. I, Cause I know that at this point, anything can happen or maybe nothing will really happen. Maybe. So I kind of take a, again, I'm kind of in the middle here, right? I'm kind of in the middle here. So I basically see this slowly unfolding the evolution of consciousness over decades and decades and centuries. Cause I see it as this continuing process that goes on for, you know, thousands, millions of years, however long the, this earth experience goes on for the evolution of consciousness continues. I don't know how long earth is going to continue for, if it's going to be millions of years or thousands of years or what, I don't know. However, this goes on for, this is a continuing process, right? And I always, I always experience that we're at the beginning of this process. I know it feels like we've been here forever and like that we're at the end of our rope sometimes and it sometimes can feel like I just want to leave earth because fuck this place. But I really, I really think that this is just the beginning, right? This is just the beginning and it doesn't matter what type of view of earth history you take, right? You, you, there's all different types of views about how, how old earth is and how long humans have been around or whatever. And it doesn't matter. None of that actually really matters what your view is. You can view whatever you want because there can be multiple timelines where 
everybody's view is correct in a different reality, right? So I really, it doesn't matter to me. Um, the point is that it doesn't matter because regardless of how long you think this has been going on for, regardless of how long your experience has been, this is still just the beginning. It can be, right? If you want to tune into this long, long, long process, this long earth experience where things just continuously evolve over this long, long, long span of time, then this is still just the beginning. And that's how it feels for me, right? I remember when I first had my starseed awakening, I had, I had, I was like really traumatized for a few months because I was like, oh my God, I'm going to be trapped on this fucking planet forever. I'm going to be trapped here and it's going to be horrible. And I was just like, I just want to leave and never come back. Right. <laughs> I was like really like, honestly, really terrified of that. That idea horrified me for a few months, but obviously that was something I had to heal and work through. And I did. And now I am really excited to be on earth for many thousands of years. I'm really excited to see how this project unfolds and I see it unfolding over a long period of time. So in terms of our lifespans, right? The next, the next few decades, what do, how, how do I think ascension or the evolution of consciousness is going to go over the next few decades? How do I imagine this? Basically, I mean, again, this is just me kind of imagining it and kind of feeling into how I kind of guess this might go. So this is not gospel or anything. This is literally just <laughs> how I'm kind of imagining it right now. I kind of see it going like, this progressively accelerated evolution of consciousness. I do see it, consciousness to continuously evolve, but accelerating, right? It's gonna go faster and faster and faster. I feel that because um, I've really been starting to understand lately how much I am like an accelerator. Like my energy is an accelerant. <laughs> I accelerate change. Um, I've experienced that in my, in my personal life, how I go through the, these rapid accelerated periods of growth. Um, and everywhere I go, like physically in my life, like I catalyze change and like change starts, starts to accelerate wherever I go. And I'm, the universe literally sends me places to accelerate change, to accelerate evolution. Um, so since that is how I vibe, that is how I feel the evolution of consciousness is going to continue to accelerate because that's, that's really my bias, right? That is my function. That is part of why I'm here. So I really see, th I see that things are going to continue to accelerate. Um, that doesn't mean that there can't be periods where things like seems like things like blah, blah, blah. <laughs> sometimes it might seem like there's a backsliding or like two steps forward, one step back, right? There might be slower periods, there might be gaps, those types, those types of, man, I'm losing it. <laughs> those types of things, right? The, the kind of retrograde energy where things slow down or maybe seem to go backwards, but really overall, everything is accelerating. Um, I do see more and more people waking up, right? More and more people getting interested in metaphysics and spirituality and all of this type of weird stuff that we talk on here and aliens and past lives and just the whole gambit right and more and more people bringing their spiritual gifts online just more and more and more of this whole thing is gonna i think it's gonna keep snowballing but again there will be periods where it like peaks and then declines just like how we saw in the 60s right the 60s counterculture was this huge explosion of spiritual energy and then kind of went into the 70s but in like the 80s kind of petering out and then there was like a little bit of a revival in the 90s and then that in the 21st century kind of petered out but now since 2020 it's been, and well 2020 2012 and then 2020 there's like these little peaks and it's like coming and coming so there's it does go in waves it's not like a constant like escalator right and i also fully suspect <laughs> that there will continue to be wild card events, right? That's, that's what Chiron calls them. No, not Chiron. That's the asteroid. Cryon. <laughs> Cryon. K-R-Y-O-N. Chi Cryon. Cryon channeled by Lee Carroll. He calls them wild card events, right? So the pandemic was one big wild card event and they're I mean, I have no idea what these other wild card events might be, but they're essentially, you know, world events that really shake things up. Um, maybe sometimes they, they will seem like, oh my God, this is like, how is this happening? This is bad. Maybe sometimes it will feel like that. Um, but I, any of these large world events, I have, I have no idea when or what. I just feel the general theme of these wild card world events, right? The potential for them to happen in coming decades. I really strongly feel that any of these events that we experience are created by us, actually created by us as a collective, manifested by us, all of us, right? I, I fully feel that this is a consensual, 
co-created, what's the other word I'm looking for? It's like escaping my brain. <laughs> but anyway, you get the point, right? I feel like any of these that happen, we will, whatever they are, we will be able to roll through them, right? As best we can, right? We will roll through them as best we can. And it's because we create them, right? We create them for ourselves, right? We create them for ourselves. And I really feel that this whole evolution of consciousness, of course, it's going to have challenges. Of course, it's going to have surprises. It's going to have really exciting surprises. And the thing is, even when there are strange world events, you can still thrive through them. And I can definitely tell you like 2020 was the best year of my life. I had the best time. And I was really aware that a lot of people were not having the best year of their life. Right. But for me, I was like, I was really able to thrive through that. So that's why these world events don't really alarm me. Like the idea of them coming, don't alarm me because I know that I can handle it, right? Whatever it is, whatever, whatever it is, I know that it is part of my life's journey. I know that it is, something that I have created for myself. And I know that whatever happens, everything's going to be fine because the worst case scenario is that I leave my body and that's going to be pretty fucking sweet. So, <laughs> right. It's like, how many times have we left our bodies before? If you watch my channel, the, the, the extremely high chance you are a very old soul. So you've got the transition process. You've got that down. That's not a problem for you, right? If that's your worst case scenario, then you got literally nothing to worry about. So yeah. I basically see ascension then to try and wrap all of this up. I see ascension as a progressively accelerated experience of the evolution of consciousness that will also include the biological and genetic evolution of humanity, both in terms of natural biological evolution and potential genetic engineering. That's a thing that happens, right? That's a thing that happens. <laughs> um, and also new souls being born, um, bringing new types of consciousness, anchoring in new types of consciousness. There, there's a whole whole big kettle of fish that comes into play here about the human body evolves. Um, also, But also just receiving upgrades, activating our more of our DNA, right? That, that's a whole different topic, but that's part of it here. Activating parts of our dormant DNA all this, right? So there's all of that and the increasing evolution of consciousness and the, these increasing waves of awakening and all of this is going to naturally change our experience of earth, right? Naturally change our experience of earth. And I know that my own, my own life, I have had these really drastic and sudden awakening experiences, right? I've gone through so many rapid changes where I go from one end of the spectrum to the other. And where my life changes from what, like being one way and then to being an entirely different way. And this can happen sometimes though, almost, it feels like almost overnight. It can be in the period of like a week or, or a year. These really rapid, really fast changes. So since I have experienced those in my personal life, I also know that we can see those kind of really surprising, really shocking changes in the earth reality, in the consensus reality. That was the word I was looking for, the consensus reality. This is a consensus reality. That is how I see it. So of course it's, it's easier to manifest a very sudden change in your personal life because you're only dealing with like you and whatever other few people you're kind of dealing with, right? When we're trying to manifest a, a large scale change in the consensus reality, we're dealing with millions of people or all 7 billion people, right? Trying to get everybody to agree that this is how things are now, right? This is the big change we have made. This is the change we are manifesting. But I do know it is possible. And as we, as more people are kind of like evolving their own personal consciousness, we're all um, like, we are all, all humans on earth. We are all telepathically, telempathically, empathically, energetically connected all of the time. Because we are, all of us, a collective consciousness. We are one consciousness, just with different, seven billion different bodies all walking around, right? Or however many humans you think there are on the planet. Maybe in your plan, in your reality, there's a different number. I don't know. So I really see that we are all a collective consciousness. And so we're actually like seven. I'm just going to keep using the set number 7 billion. Cause that was like the last number I heard. Right. 
we are like 7 billion different facets of one consciousness. Like the human consciousness is one consciousness and you can actually meet, you can tune into, tune into the 5D human collective. That is a singular collective consciousness with many, many, many different facets, right? Different subgroups, different sub personalities, different aspects, right? But on the highest level, it is one collective consciousness. And so we, we are all one consciousness. Like I, <laughs> like I know I typically talk about that in terms of the universe, right? And I do mean that, but specifically I'm talking about the earth consciousness, like the, the, the humans on earth, earth-based humanity. We are literally one organism, one consciousness, the seven billion of us all running around. And we're trying to figure out what we're doing, right? And of course, when you have that many different parts, it takes some time. It takes um, sometimes some conflict. It takes some surprises, some disruptions, things being weird but also really beautiful surprises, right? Really beautiful surprises about how things can suddenly change. So I think I've kind of lost my train of thought, but <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Does, does that sort of present you with a kind of confusing mosaic of my relatively wishy-washy opinion on ascension? <laughs> Essentially, I see it as this growth, this evolutionary process that can have big jumps, big events, big changes. And there is, of course, massive potential for anyone to create their own ascension experience, right? Whatever you want to be tuning into, that is what you're going to be working towards creating. So that's the other thing, right? It's like, don't listen to anybody else's opinion on ascension <laughs> because that will pull you into their ascension experience. And I mean, if you really like their ascension experience, if that's what you want for yourself, I mean, go right ahead. But you can also completely ignore everybody else's projects. Because if someone is projecting the future, that is a project that they are on. They are creating their future. They are creating their future. They are tuning into that future, right? So it's like, do you want to work with them on that? Do you want to co-create that reality with them? Or do you just want to create your own, right? Is it is create your own? <laughs> so that's why I would say it doesn't matter what anybody believes about the ascension process because this is like a free form sandbox experience and we are all just creating it for ourselves as we go. So, I guess I'll leave it at that, guys. I don't know. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Love you so much. Bye.